So the action on Saturday here at Zolder got underway with race one. Leading straight from the off was Norbert Kiesch. A brilliant start led him into turn one towards the first corner. Jochen Hahn followed him through with Sasha Lenz following suit, using all the curb on the exit, using a bit too much of the road, and then the gravel was Aaliyah Kolok rejoining the circuit as, sa as safely as she could, and that was Stefan Fast running very wide in pure avoidance. The rain started to fall very early on. Through the Klein chicane we went, and you can see the gaps very quickly starting to build. Norbert Keach continued to work forward, even with the ever-changing weather and track conditions, and that lead gap only proceeded to build up. Jochen Hahn did what he could to stay in touch, and so did Sasha Lenz. Under the bridge we went, and you can really see this lead gap slowly starting to extend. Antonio Albertetti did what he could to lead with that trio as well, but nothing could really come of it. Shane Brereton doing what he could as well, hanging on to the coattails of that lead group as the field files through in towards the Villeneuve chicane, the black and white warning flag being shown there. We later discovered that that was for a potential overspeed from Jochen Hahn. On the exit of Lucien Bianchi box, very sideways all through the gravel, was a Stefan Fass pushing the absolute limits there. But you can see just how big that lead gap is between Norbert Kiesch and Jochen Hahn. And it's only proceeded to go that way as well. Of course, Jochen Hahn in the back of his mind, he's got to think about that overspeeding penalty. Sasha Lenz just in the background as well, doing what he can to stick with him. Across the line for the final time, however, it was Norbert Kiesch led from lights to flag, a brilliantly controlled race. Jochen Hahn crossed the line in second place but due to Stewart's review that was later changed Sasha, Le Sasha Lenz crossed the line in what was third place but evolved in second place and you can see there Antonio Albertetti inherited that third place position everybody bringing their trucks in towards the podium and there is Norbert Kiesch on the top step of the podium celebrating with himself and of course his team and in a few moments time we have the interview the start was not the best, and uh, and Johan was, Johan was on the outside of me, and Sasha was really close behind me, so the first turn was really, really difficult to make it through, and, uh, and you know, not to make any mistakes, but uh, yeah, it worked. So after race one, you can see the results up on your screen now. Stephanie Halm took the reverse grid pole position. Of course, the results from race one carried forward for race two and the top eight are reversed. So Stephanie Halm did inherit that provisional pole and Norbert Kiesch will start in eighth place. There you can see Jochen Hahn down in 12th place after picking up that time penalty for the overspeed and giving him a lot of work to do for the rest of not only Saturday, but heading into Sunday as well. So as the podium celebrations got underway, Norbert Kiesch kicked off the weekend exactly like he wanted to. Did a brilliant job in Super Bowl earlier on in the day and then heading out, leading from lights to flag. And with Antonio Albatetti taking to the podium, somewhat unaware of the shortcomings of Jochen Hahn. Brilliant drive from Sasha Lenz also to take the second step of the podium.